a beautiful sound. Terry's going to take those of us who have never touched bells before and, and do some ringing called change ringing. She has a, a broad history and background and knowledge of bells and is open to questions, just addressing anything you'd, you'd like to, to know or talk about. So, without any further ado, let me introduce Terry Bush uh, from Leewood Campus. Shut up. I a lot.
Hey, come here. <laughs> Here. Are they oh, the or do I not know them? That's my son. <laughs> so who's this his one? best friend? 
Well, yeah. I haven't been known. Why don't you send that out? Because you're going to suck up service. Oh, yeah, that's him. <laughs> Times change, don't they? I knew that. I just didn't, wasn't thinking he was here. Okay. And you are? four to eight bells hung up in the towers and they have ropes hanging down and ringers would go up and they would pull the ropes in sequences called changes and they would practice for hours and the townspeople first of all got tired of hearing this second of all when it got really cold it was cold and damp to be up in the bell towers and so handbells were developed so they could go down actually into the pubs and practice and what they do is they sit around a tea table or a, or a uh, coffee table and they would change what's called change ring and what I'm going to do is call the cross and change and this example of one of those mathematical sequences that bell ringers used to do. This is where I need this. What's the ribbon for, Terry? The ribbon is so you can see. Is Sherry sure going to come over here and tie this so I can yank? Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a, bit, uh, a couple ribbons on this, one, on this far bell because our change is going to take us through a series of different uh, arrangements of ringing the bell, and you're going to see that bell move. And one of the ways you can watch the patterns of the bells during a change ring is to mark one so you can actually watch what happens to it. So what I want you to do is be aware that that one's down there and it's got a ribbon on it and watch where it goes, okay? Let me tell you what, you're gonna, what we're going to do, good kids. Each one of you is going to have two bells in front of you, okay? And you're going to bring right, right, left, right, left, all the way down. You know what scale is? Yeah. Okay, so if you're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And after you ring, you're going to dampen them, okay? So when you ring like this, you ring. Okay? Now you don't ring like this. You don't want to hear them at the same time. You don't want to go like this. You want to go. Want to try that? If you were looking at your belts, they shouldn't be in alphabetical order anymore. Are they backwards? Yep. Okay. 
Now I want to bring them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready? Now the next step is called a change. Now listen real carefully. You take your right hand and watch what you're doing all the time. You don't get to do anything with this one, but Linda, you're going to take your right hand and put it over. What's your name? Ashley, I'm sorry. Linda? No. Okay. Linda, put your left elbow down. And this guy's going to put his there. And you put yours there. And now you're going to take up two belts closest to you. Nope. You get it. He gets that one. And you get that one. And you get those two. Okay? That was called a change. Okay? Now I want you to bring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I want you to cross your belts like you did in the first place. Put them down, pick them up, ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I want you to change. Put your belts down. Right hand over your neighbor's left hand. Right hand over your neighbor's left hand. Pick up the two in front of you. Okay? Pick up the two in front of you. There you go. Ashley. One, two, three, four. Okay. What are we doing here, bud?